Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another Galactic Challenge video. Apologies for being a bit silent during the past week but as you know I've been exploring the unknown regions of the galaxy and I did have a failure on my communications relay so I wasn't really able to upload any videos uh, past week but here I am communications relay has been uh, realigned and all working correctly so I can now bring to you this uh, Galactic Challenge video. Uh, so we do have another Inquisitor Galactic Challenge yet again. It seems like we'll be having it every week from here on out. Who knows for how long? And you know what that means? It For most of us, it means that gold crate is the best we can do. But luckily, as with the previous two Inquisitor uh, challenges, they did remove the purge feed. So getting, you know, silver or gold crate become, became a whole lot easier because we don't have to find a way to cheese purge 60 times or tier 9 as we had to do initially as always i'll cover the modifiers the feats and then show you some teams here hopefully to help you get a uh, gold uh, crate quite easily here but anyway let's first kick off with the best spin modifier decadence um mostly what you will notice really is here accuracy of all character has been reduced by 15 percent so there'll be a little bit more dodging than usual and we do have collected wealth, uh, you get a stacking buff that gives you some extra critical chance and critical damage uh, for your guys. So this will help a little bit along the way as well. Moving on, Dark Pursuit, so that's the modifier for Inquisitors. Won't go too much in depth because, you know, we have it every week. So by now we pretty much know what it does. You get some stacking fatigue and you get Coup de Gras ability eventually and things like that. Hedge bets. Now, luckily, uh, even though we are facing a team of bounty hunters, it is a scoundrel galactic challenge. Uh, so they don't have the bounty hunter uh, modifier. And from the two uh, scoundrel modifier, they actually have the weak one. So the enemy isn't really all that threatening at all. So we should be quite easily, hopefully, be able to get here uh, max rewards. So first, I head over onto tier 10 and I'll do all the free feats that I can, obviously, except the Inquisitor one. Uh, uh, so you have to obviously win the battle, win after defeating three enemies in the same turn and finally complete the battle after scoring at least 30 critical hits. And this goes back to the best spin modifier where we do get some critical uh, stacking critical chance. So hopefully getting these 30 critical hits shouldn't be too much of a problem. We'll see do we have to stall the battle harder or not to get them out. Uh, and win after defeating three enemies the same turn. I have a couple of teams here uh, that I normally use for this feat, so we'll see if they work as well. So the first team that I'll be using here uh, is uh, Sith Empire. Um, so no matter what Sith Empire team here you use, um, it doesn't even matter probably. The reason why I didn't uh, bring in Sith uh, Empire Trooper uh, or Marauder, Sith Empire Trooper obviously, he gets uh, Retribution, then he can counter attack. Uh, and then Sith Marauder is gaining lots of bonus turn meter. So I don't want them to be interfering too much with me lining up uh, the kill on multiple enemies in the same turn with Bastila Shawn Wild Lightning. Uh, in terms of mods, uh, nothing really specific here, to be honest. Um, just, you know, whatever got on these guys, nothing too crazy. Obviously, uh, you don't need to go with the full Sith Empire team. Uh, you don't have to do that. Maybe Thrawn could be nice for swapping turn meter and things like that. Uh, but the reason why I'm going with full CF Empire team is because in Revan's leadership, um, you've got the clause there. Where is it? If all allies are Sith Empire at the start of the battle, Sith Empire allies gain plus 50% critical damage. So this will boost the damage on Bastille as well. Lightning dot. Hopefully she can finish off the enemies quite quickly. All right, here we go. Nora is very fast, which is good. So she, so she came out of stealth, so I can go ahead and now fear everybody. There we go. Get a stun on her. Maybe get a stun on Bosk. There we go. Start spreading some fear. So to begin with, you just want to whittle down everybody. Okay, there we go. We got Cat Bane in yellow, so that's fine. We don't touch him anymore. Now Aura, you will have to take out because she'll get death mark anyways. So I'll just start working on other guys now. Let's get Greedo in the yellow as well. There we go. We got him in the red, so we don't touch Greedo anymore. Uh, let's see if we can start working on Bosk here. Just basic will do. Another basic on Bosk. Okay, let's do another basic. All right, and now we can go ahead, unleash White Lightning, because uh, we've got Cat Bane in yellow. We got 
Greedo here in red, him in red, so I think that should be enough. Let's go. Boom! There we go. Now, Embo, you can't critically hit, but doesn't matter. Let's just go ahead and drain him. And there we go. So they should complete um, the feat of defeating three enemies in the same turn. Not sure that I got critical hits or not. Um, yeah, so no critical hits here. So we'll do another team here uh, as well that can get um, defeating the three enemies in the same turn. And then hopefully that will get critical hits as well. So let's just go ahead, bring Empire in here. We got these guys. Um, Let's actually, I like to bring in Treya here as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And then obviously we do need what uh, here for this trick to work. Uh, so going with our Vader lead so that the majority of times when Vader is uh, applying and as well um, what when he's assisting with his basic, uh, they never expire. So eventually again, you kind of whittle everybody down. You have lots of damage over times. And then with what time bore here, you just use discharge energy, which will trigger uh, the damage over times and defeat the enemies. So it's, a, it's an old trick that we've been using. Got thrown there for obviously turn meter swap and things like that. And then Treya, in case Vader gets stunned or something, she can cleanse him uh, because obviously he's Sith. And we got Malak there a little bit for keeping these guys under control. All right, here we go. Um, start off weapon tech over on Vader. So he's obviously gaining bonus turn meter. Oh, a big hit there over on Malak. Oh man. All right, here we go. Merciless engaged. Um, let's just go ahead, drop some damage over times. Go after Embo. Just basics. No, I don't want to throw Culling Blade because I don't want uh, to get, you know, anybody too low yet. So I'm just going to do here, try to stack as many damage over times as I can. Let's go ahead, put this over on Throne. Uh, and then. Um, let's actually fracture Bosk so he doesn't taunt. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, hmm, let's actually isolate the Aura. She's got uh, offense up, so make sure to uh, target Vader so you reduce his cooldowns. There we go. Uh, let's put the final piece of tech over on Treya. All right, I'm gonna hit over there. Okay, so you can see we're stacking lots of damage over times already. Uh, let's just go ahead, do a basic over here. Oh, dodge, of course. Uh, let's target Greedo with a Force Crush. Because basic will do more damage, so we don't want to defeat him. All right, there we go. Basic over here. Um, what I, let's get another basic over there. Uh, not quite enough because damage over time they do 5% health, right? So if you do have somebody in the yellow, they will need 10 damage over time. So not, not, not time yet to discharge energy, to be honest. Uh, let's just go ahead and do a basic on Cat Bane. Oh, he dodged, of course. Another dodge. Okay, let's do a Force Crush now. Okay. Um, do that. Okay, so here we go. That should do it. Uh, we've got Cat Bane. Um, Greedo and as well Bosk in yellow, which means less than 50% health. They all have 10, oh, they have all 10, actually more, 11 or more damage over time. So this should now defeat them when we use Discharge Energy. Boom, down they go. And that's defeating, uh, um, there we go. Yeah, defeating three enemies in the same turn. Uh, not sure I will get uh, the critical hits. We'll have to wait and see. Obviously, Embo can't be critical hit, so that doesn't help your cause. So we might have to run another team for critical hits in, in case these guys didn't get it. Okay, there we go. Come on, stop dodging. Ah, there we go. So this will also complete uh, defeating three enemies in the same turn feat as well. Um, didn't complete the critical hits, so we'll have to do something else for critical hits as well. Okay, here we go. So what I'll do, I will try actually uh, to do Imperial Troopers here. Now I'm not taking in Dark Trooper because obviously he'll, he'll defeat enemies too fast and his basic uh, can't critically hit, right? So yeah, we'll leave him out and see if these guys can get the job done in terms of getting 30 critical hits or not. Uh, or we'll have to stall even harder. Let's go ahead and try it out. Let's do a Mass Assist here. There we go. We got quite a few critical hits here. Let's get an armor shred. Um, I'm going to put this over on uh, Stark. Get some buffs going. All right, let's go ahead and unload the uh, Mass Assist there. Town goes Bosks. 
And I'll just keep going. Join AOE. Okay. I'm going after Aura next. Hopefully I'm not taking these guys out too quickly. We'll find out soon enough. Uh, let's go after Greedo. Take him out. And I'll just have to go after him. But obviously can't critically hit him unfortunately. So hopefully getting those guys out was enough to get 30 critical hits. Uh, come on. Stop dodging. Yep. Okay. There we go. All right. The moment of truth, did we get 30 critical hits or not? Or are we going to have to stall even harder? Yeah, there we go. Imperial Troopers very, very easily complete this. Um, 30 critical hits. Uh, again, without feed tracker, not sure how close I was that. Was I just 30 or 32? I'm not sure. But it got the job done. So definitely, I think Troopers will be a good choice here to get this done. Now, this obviously will complete um, Silver Crate which you can get your two Omicrons. Uh, so if you don't want to bother with Inquisitors, hey, at least you got your two Omicrons. So congratulations. Otherwise, you can give this a go. Uh, let's just go ahead over to tier six as always. I think this is the minimum you have to complete uh, with your Inquisitors uh, to get Gold Crate. Uh, so let me bring up my Inquisitors now. I like to go with Fifth Brother Lead for some extra survivability. And the other guys, as you can see, you know, they're not, they're all gear 8, exception of second sister. I did uh, get her to gear 11 for her ship. In terms of mods, they all just have some totally random mods on them. So nothing specific needed here, I think. Uh, so I'll just go ahead now and see what will happen. Um, yeah, I'll just go after Bosk first, I guess. Try to stop him from taunting. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and push back his turn meter. There we go. Got ability block on him as well. Let's do an AoE here. There we go, we dispelled buffs on all the enemies, so we got him out of stealth. Um, let's just go ahead, join AoE over here. Okay. Um, let's see if we can get a stun on Greedo, so he doesn't, you know, multi-tap and stuff. Go after him first, actually. I think he's the biggest threat, or maybe Aura, I'm not sure. I'm gonna save the heal, I'll just do a basic. There we go, get some protection up, almost got Greedo out of here. There we go, got him out. Um, let's go after Cat Bane as well. Uh, let's go ahead, I'll heal up now, get some Foresight as well. Critical damage immunity. Okay, oh, that's a big hit from Mambo. Okay, to another AoE over here. <laughs> Down goes Cat Bane. I think we can just hit auto play at this point, to be honest. Uh, maybe target Bosk actually, because he'll, he, he'll taunt anyways in a moment. Unless we land ability block or something. Okay, there we go. I got him down as well. And aura. So yeah, there you go. You know, getting looks like seems like um, from these and past experiences, you know, tier six is m quite easy here with uh, gear rate inquisitors, low star, no issues whatsoever. And this will now give you that gold crate that we always want when we do have <laughs> the inquisitor challenge. Because yeah, majority of us probably don't have our inquisitors up to snuff yet. So there you go guys, uh, that's all for today's video. Hope you find it useful and helpful, just showing you how I got the uh, gold crate here quite easily. Uh, couple, I'll show you a couple of different teams there for uh, defeating three enemies in the same turn. And then I think troopers will be the fastest and easiest way uh, to get critical, hit, feed, critical hits feed done as well. More moth also I guess, uh, but I, I think the troopers are probably more common uh, amongst the community than Mon Mothma teams. Thank you for watching guys, uh, I'll see you in the next one, but until then have fun, enjoy life, and may the RNG be with you my friends.